Hey guys, this is Hawkeye. I am back with part two of the tournament that has been continuing here for the fishing islands. And in this particular part of this tournament, we are going to be going back to the map to now try to catch the biggest total amount. What this means, guys, is that we now have to focus on catching as many fish as we can. So that means small 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 fish that means sh we need to go in to the shallows we need to go close to shore we need to use our ultralight rod anyway guys let's go ahead and get this started this is going to be about 30 minutes long it's noon winter and let's see what happens guys now i'm going to keep the bigger drill even though it takes a little more time because i like to get the range I have learned that much <laughs> let's see here guys now everybody's gonna be running for more than most likely some kind of an alcove or something like that which is what I'm going to be doing oh well, shoot there I don't want to sit there I'm gonna run over here to this one I know it's a little bit farther but I'd rather not have a whole bunch of people to get away from me, a little pain in my butt. <laughs> it's mine. Mine. Right here. This is where I want to be. Right in the shallows. Yep, it's nice and nice and shallow. Now I need to make sure that I have the right rod, guys, because honestly I didn't check, which was probably not smart, especially with the time that we have. All right. Whoa. Why do I not see my rod? That's weird. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, we have the ultralight rod. That's kind of freaky, honestly. Let me go ahead and change my lure to the tropical sunrise. Okay, I'm still not seeing my rod. Oh, that's weird. Okay, we're going to go with dough balls this time and let's give her a try go ahead and scoop this out real quick while we do that yeah i was a little bit afraid that i wasn't going to be able to see my rod there for a second that would be bad <laughs> that would be really bad yeah i like being able to get this range to sway it back and forth there we go guys Oh, a burbot. Nice. Now that's one I haven't gotten before, to be perfectly honest. And we still got, we still have dough balls. Let me go ahead and scoop that out again, because since it's winter time, we now, of course, actually, I didn't even set this up, which was kind of, hold on here. Didn't mean to do that. I'm getting a little too worked up and excited here guys sorry about that yeah I tend to do that when I fish <laughs> just having a good time wait a minute I thought I saw a bit of a bite but I'm not sure might have taken my bait that's always a possibility better check no all right we're still good I'm going to try an up and down motion this time. Come on, fish. Don't fail me on this one. If this thing doesn't start yielding a little bit more. We're going to move on. There we go, Ruffy. And yeah, we don't care what it is we just care that we get it and that's the honest to god's truth anything is good the only hard part is some of these guys are so small that even with this rod it makes you wonder if they're on it come on 
There we go. This one's going to be a little bit bigger. There's a tench. Yeah, if we were going for most species, so far we're doing pretty good. Let me go ahead and change this to... Let's go with the red larva. Let's see if we can't get something different species-wise here. They don't seem to be going for the dough balls as much. So we'll switch it up. See if that doesn't get us a little more action. Come on. There we go. There's a roach. Alright. Still have some bait on there. Let's go ahead with these brown does. See if we can't get us a little more action here, guys. Now, if there's any slow periods, I will be sure to cut it out. I'm actually going to try to cut out as much as I can because I like to get the, these episodes shorter than 30 minutes. Just because, I, you know, you don't need to be seen watching me swaying back and forth the entire time. That gets kind of boring. But, you need to see the action. I've still got a little bit of worm on there, so I'm going to keep it for now, but... I think after this one I'm going to get up and move to a new location just because I'm not catching them as quickly as I like. Last time I did a tournament like this and it was for the most total amount I was catching pretty pretty much one right after another. And this seems to be drying up guys honestly. So let's go ahead and move stakes because there's no reason to mess around. Some places ain't gonna help us. So let's go. All right. Now another good place that I like to fish is right, like a channel area, like right here. And look at all the structure we've got here. See that looks like a good. This looks good to me, but I'm going to go up here a little bit more. Yeah, I know it's pretty shallow here, but again, look how deep it is. So we might have a lot of different things down here. Hopefully we do. Alright. Alright, we're going to have to change baits this time. always scoop it even if it's kind of like my little you know like in the Rocky movies where he crosses himself before I sit there and I scoop it <laughs> just to make sure that I've gotten all that ice out there we go there's a roach And if you're wondering why I'm not going deep, I'm a little hesitant to go too deep because, well, perfectly honest, I don't know how big the fish are. So using this light rod may be bad, <laughs> to be honest. Most of them up near the surface are going to be smaller, at least they should be. There we go. See, now we're getting some action, guys. This is a little bit better than where we were. Another thing that's nice about having a little deeper area with all the structure is I can try different depths. So that's a good thing. So right now we're starting real shallow. If I go deeper, I might switch over to my medium-sized rod. Now, I'm not going to use my large rod. I'm not planning on going after the big guys. It takes too long. 
There we go. Oh, you're killing me. You're killing me. Too slow. That was a good bite, too. Man. 20 minutes, guys. A little more than 20 minutes, so we've got to get a little bit more on our numbers here. I don't know how the other people are doing. That always worries me. There we go. Alright, another roach. Alright, let's see. Come on, give us give us another one. What is it my buddy always says? Fishy fishy in the brook. Fishy fishy and on my hook. Fishy fishy in the river. Well normally it's supposed to be coming bite upon my liver, which there's a brown trout, guys. Nice brown trout. Whoops. I don't think I've caught a brown trout on one of these videos before. But they will usually be in these deeper areas close to shore. So, but usually not that shallow. So that's kind of a good thing. If I go deeper, I might be able to get some more of those. And that's good. That's real good. All right, guys. Now we're. This is a, this is a good spot. This is a real good spot. I may not have. If I can keep this kind of action going, I'm gonna go a little bit deeper, about halfway. And we're gonna see what lies in the depths. Hopefully, it's something good. Hopefully, it doesn't break my rod. Come on, fish. There we go. Nice perch. Nice perch. Yeah, I really like the sun, the sunrise or sunshine or whatever they call it. The other one's okay, but I don't have as many of the marmishkas. I only had a couple. I don't know why. I guess because I usually go after the big fish. And if you're using those, you tend to want to use the balanced ones. The spoons are pretty interesting to use. Yeah, this is a good spot, guys. This may be where we stay for a while. Thinking this is where we're staying for a while here. All right, 17 minutes. Let's get a little lure going. All right. I hope you're not hearing too much of the background noise. I do apologize for that. But my wife is watching the Democratic Convention. Not that I'm not interested in watching politics, but personally, much rather do this. <laughs> not that I have anything against any of the politicians, but you know, that's one thing I do not discuss here, guys. We do not discuss religion or politics that's that's something you need to always kind of hold true in life guys because I don't care how good of friends you are I don't care how smart you are you start getting into those two topics and things can get ugly and I always do my best to avoid having any discussion about it like unless I'm sitting there talking about discussing not discussing about it <laughs> All right, let's see what we can see here, guys. Let's go deep. And we're going to do an up and down because I'm betting you there might be a pike down there. 
that might be interested in this. And I'm gonna catch him if I can. Whoa. Okay, that was a good bite. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, man. Lord. That's just wrong, man. I was robbed. I was robbed. Tight fire. Come on. We know you're down there. Okay, this time I got him. You can always tell when it's pulling up kind of slow. There's my pike. I told you he was down there. I told you. Knew he was down there. A little bugger. All right, we're going to switch. Add a little bit new bait there. And we're going to go a little bit... Eh... Uh, yeah, we're going to keep it for now. So let's go ahead, pull this up, and let's head somewhere else. While well, we're still young, all right. All right, let's see. Where else can we go? All right. Tell you what, let's go right over here. Now, I don't want to go too far. Now, if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I like to fish around these bridges. Oop, can't fish here. Oh, well, that's the first time. We are going to fish near it though. Nice and shallow. We're going to go back to our ultralight rod here. Now when I fished in near these little bridges before, not only do I get a lot of small fish, but I also seem to get lucky with the trout. I'm hoping that holds true here. I want to go Let's see, is that deep as it'll go? Yeah. Ah, oh, shoot, I forgot to switch. I'm just going to really watch. Just going to have to really watch. Man, the slush is a real problem. All right, let's scoop this out. I'm going to go ahead and change rods since I'm out of the water. Uh, let's see, we're going to go back to the ultra light. All right, let's see what we can get on this little guy. fish come on there we go so it looks like I might have found the perch okay I got half a worm left all right let's try up and down this time There we go. Ooh, nice. And I'd. I 
probably mispronounced that. A lot of these fish are from Scandinavia. I'm not as familiar with Scandinavian fish. Most of the species of fish that I know are North American and South American. That was my area of focus when I was in school. Yes, I did go to college. Got a bachelor's degree in biology with emphasis in freshwater ichthyology. And a master's in liberal studies. Now with liberal studies, guys, you usually you have emphasis and of course it was with biology and literature. Love literature, guys. I love reading. Always have. And my wife, she's a writer. Been trying hard to get her to publish her novel. And yes, she wrote a novel. Never done that. Looks like I'm about out of the bait here, so let's see. Figure if I switch things around, maybe I'll get a little more variety of species here. Been trying hard though to get her to publish that novel. She literally wrote it 10 years ago. All it needs is a little bit of editing and it's good to go. And she is an excellent, excellent writer. Alright, we're still pulling these guys in, guys. So, as long as we're still pulling them in, I don't feel like we're failing. Now, I'm going to go real shallow this time. This is like right below the ice, I mean really. I mean we're we don't care if we catch minnows at this point. Not that there are any minnows in this game, but there should be. I do love this game, but I really wish they would add some more species that are typically North American. I mean it, they need to add largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, sturgeon especially. You're going to catch a lot of sturgeon up north in North America. They need to add smallmouth, whoops, yellow, wait a minute, can't get any movement there. They did add crappie which is a good thing. There's also white bass, striped bass, walleye, sauger, catfish for God's sake. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's blue cats, channel cats. Doesn't take long to get through those 30 minutes, that's for sure. It's a lot of fun guys, this really is. You sit here and do this, it's relaxing. There's another tench, and I think that is going to be our last fish. So we need to be heading on back because it is getting to the wire here. And I am a long way from the starting gate. Boy, you better move. No, I think I have enough time. I think I have enough time. I love this bow-legged run of theirs. Yeah, that little thing with the fish symbol, that basically is where you would sell your fish if you were free fishing. Now I haven't recorded myself free fishing, but uh, I'll tell you, Delacopa did. 
So that's a pretty interesting episode, guys. So you can see exactly what you can do when you're just fishing around, catching the fish for fun. And I'm hoping at some point that we can just sit there and do that with the Lockva chat. Do the same maybe with Freak Bird. He's not really into the competitions. Freak Bird's not. He would just like the fish. But anyway, we are back in the starting circle. It looks like we've got all kinds of these augers in here. There's some fancy ones. Some of these people are just getting here at the last minute. Look at that guy. He's way off in the distance. Running his little butt off. Or hers. I'm not sure if it's a woman or a guy from this distance. Ten seconds, dude. You're just going to barely make it. Alright. I think that's everybody. All right, let's see how we did, guys. Survey said. Ah, I didn't get first. I got 22. Number one was 25. But remember, guys, this is just the next leg. It main thing is you've got to get the best overall score, and I still scored pretty darn high. So, granted, fourth place isn't great. Well, we'll see how we do in the next one because the next one is about total weight. Now that I usually do very well at and that's where I'm going to focus using the balance lures and in the deep areas. We're going to go for the deep areas and the big fish because we're going to try to catch as many of the big guys as we can and that is what my best focus is. So hopefully I can pull myself up. Now if you look at my rankings here though, however, I'm still in first. So even though he pulled ahead a little bit, he's still only in second. So I'm not out of this yet, guys. Well, anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching. And please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll be back with another episode of Ice Lakes. And until then, I will see you later. Bye-bye.